Okay, Kathy, you are uh, obviously stressed that uh, it's always a good time to buy. What are, what are the disadvantages that someone may face if they don't buy in the right market or at the right time uh, in the soft or slow market? Sure. There's a lot. Um, as you know, there's lots of inventory out there, and if anybody who's bought, it's a very emotional process. Yes. So let's say you're looking right now and you find a great house. The market is slow. You know, people are willing to negotiate a little bit more. And some people kind of wait and think, oh, I'll, I'll wait a little bit longer. Let me know if there's a price change. And all of a sudden, I have to call them and say, great, it's already, you, you lost it. It's under mm -hmm. agreement. So mm -hmm. you can wait too long. Mm -hmm. You know, as long as it's within your price range, you think it's a good deal. Your agent tells you it's a good deal. Uh -huh. You're going to get a good interest rate because, again, if you wait too long, an interest rate goes up, but you save another $5,000 on the price, you don't really come out ahead. So you can wait so long that you price yourself out. You can't get the house. Yes. You might even fall into a different category um, based on the interest rates. Right. Um, you might price yourself out of a certain neighborhood. Maybe you want Quincy, and now you can't afford Quincy anymore. Right. Right. Or based on the interest rates, you wanted a, a single family with three bedrooms and one and a half bath with all these garage and all these other amenities. Based on the price, because you waited with the interest going up, yes. you might not get everything that you want. You might have to give up the half bath or the garage. Right. Right. So, you know, there's pros and cons to everything. But if find the house and, you know, you go ahead, go ahead and take the take the chance, take the risk. It's really all about the house, isn't it, Kathy? Absolutely, absolutely. And if you find the dream house, you know, and you and you pass it up, you have to start your search all over again. So you might take another six months, four months to keep looking to find that next house that you feel is right. So sometimes, you know, it's just not worth it. If you find it, just buy it. Right. Uh, people always speculate where interest rates are going to go. Uh, yeah, I know I want to buy this house, but I'm waiting for interest rates to go lower. I tell them all the time, hey, listen, interest rates are going to go up and down, Absolutely. but the house you, you're looking at right now may never come around ever. Yeah. So you really have to... Absolutely. So when you do find it, again, talk to your, you know, you're going to be talking to your real estate any, agent anyway, talk to your lender. And again, that small difference in trying to save $5,000, you, you might lose the house and price yourself out of a, a you know, price point bracket in the neighborhood. And exactly. It's not worth it. Exactly. And you can always refinance. The house may never come around again. Absolutely. All right. Thank you, Kathy. Sure.